Hey everybody, welcome back to Rocket Jockey, uh, DMARC here. So we're going to start today with rocket racing. Uh, you saw before we already did our tutorial of gate navigation. Now we're going to get to the real thing and start out with driver's ed. So let's get to it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for rocket racing! As you see, we have two opponents in this race here. You can also see them on our mini-map down below as red dots. I don't think I mentioned, <laughs> but the AI in this game, specifically with racing, is not the best. <laughs> As you saw, oh crap, they just kind of immediately went off in the completely opposite direction that they were supposed to. Um, so, racing at some point can be pretty much you against the environment, which, this track aside, can be pretty challenging sometimes. There we go. Um, or, you can have more fun and just try and go and destroy your opponent and then go and uh, easily finish the race. Um, it's up to you how you want to play, but yeah, here it comes. Come here. <laughs> now, that probably wasn't a good example. Let me see if I can show you another one here. In... In rocket racing and in rocket ball, yeah, sure, why not? If you get knocked off your bike, you're actually tethered to it by a grapple. Um, and so it's pretty difficult for you to. Oh, Saw that uh, tripwire there. See, it's pretty difficult for you to lose your bike in a race uh, racetrack, but it can still happen. Um, anyway, another thing is that your tethered duration in races, and soccer for that matter, are nerfed, specifically when it comes to holding other racers. Um, it's like a second, maybe half that at most. Um, so it, it really encourages you to try to stick to the plan of just racing. But again, come further levels, you'll definitely see that that is much easier said than done. The courses are very tight. Sometimes there's tiny little narrow passageways that you have to get through and you have to just turn on a dime with a pylon right next to him, just squeeze through and hope that you don't die in the process. So yeah, he's, he's going backward. They, <laughs> they don't know much of what they're doing here. Ugh. So this race is going to be uh, pretty much cake. Again, trying to track them down and finish this course within the allotted time and to kill them as well as do that, it, it's a bit of, out of the uh, realm of capabilities here with what we've got. So we'll just finish with the normal means. I think we're almost there. <laughs> Going up might help. Oh, come on. Boomer, you're trying my patience. Up button, there we go. <laughs> so, I take it back. We actually spent too much time. We need to finish this in 2 I minutes 30 later. seconds. So, I still got a good time. Or a, a high score, I should say. But I actually need to play it once more to get it under that 2 minute 30. So, Three. let's give this another shot here. See if I can steer Two. better as well. One!
So yeah, the acceleration or kind of turbo button, basically pushing the same button that you push to, uh, eh, push to make go. Um, the race section of the game is really, at least for me, it's the only section of the game that you really find yourself using that in. Um, soccer sometimes and sometimes war, but war and soccer, they're so just fast-paced, and race can be as well, but they're so dependent on you making quick, sharp turns and, um, and grappling. It's, it's hard to time your speed to where it actually matters. And also, depending on the rocket and kind of wear and tear that you do, the more that you speed up, the more your temperature goes up, and in turn, the closer you are to blowing up. Oh, let's try that one again, shall we? So you see, you don't necessarily need to go through the pylons in the the right orientation or direction. You just need to get through them and move on to the next one. And the winner is there we go, that's better. Alright guys, well uh, that's it for this episode. Um, catch me next time on the, the next race, and or uh, check out the other streams. Alright, take it easy guys. Bye.